Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, last time we looked at the Battle Royale mod in Modern Day Mod and now we're going to go with it super back in time. Uh, there's not a lot of great mods out right now, uh, which is why I'm, uh, I'm milking the whole Blood of Battle Royale thing, though I really, really like this mod. It's so friggin' fun. Uh, it's just to see what happens and who comes out on top. Uh, we had China last time uh, come out on top of the modern day mod, and the time before that we had Russia as the main victor uh, overall. So this time we're looking to see maybe if the European powers could pull out a win, or maybe a North American or South American power, possibly, or even an Asian power that's not China. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we're, I just want to see what's going to happen with, uh, with the Great War mod. Uh, in this uh, scenario, because you've got uh, a very strong Austria-Hungary, of course. Um, you've got a few Balkan nations. You've got Romania smaller than uh, usual, usual, so maybe Bulgaria won't fall right away. You've got a very strong Ottoman Empire. You've got a stronger Persia. Uh, you do have some of the uh, uh, Arabian states here. You've got a fairly strong Egypt going on as well. Uh, there's no South Africa going on here right now. Um... I'm not sure if they'll release that or not, because I think a 1914 or whatever version South Africa's released, but I'm not totally sure how that works out. But you have a United States that is uh, a little bit weaker. You've got Mexico. Um, you have a lot of um, timed civil wars and stuff with this mod as well, so I want to see if those still fire off or not. We did see some civil wars and stuff happen uh, with modern day, so the civil wars still seem to happen, even though the mod Battle Royale says they won't. Uh, the base game they don't, except for the Spanish Civil War for some reason, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. So let's unpause and see what we uh, start off with here. And there they go. There are the wars. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. We've also got an independent Korea, uh, who does have a few units, but it looks like Japan may just be, be able to take them. I don't know. They're at war with them now, and the Japanese definitely have a better equipped military. So, Montenegro. Oh, wow. Montenegro actually su survived. Uh, they took over, was it Bosnia? Yeah, Bosnia. Wow. That's pretty uh, surprising, actually. They're probably screwed now, because they're at war with the Serbians, and the Serbians definitely have a stronger military. Um, oh, and they're also at war with the Austria-Hungarians. Oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, they're definitely screwed now. Oh, rest in peace. Uh, we've got the Germans against the uh, Danes right away. They seem to really like the Danish. Um, we've got France on Switzerland. Looks like they're pretty close to taking Zurich there. Yeah, and they did. So that's now gone. And they're probably going to declare war on Brussels. Yeah. So they are immediately at war with Belgium. Belgium is also at war with the Netherlands. See how that works out. Uh, Belgium's probably going to fall pretty much immediately. Like, the last stronghold they have is Liege, and I don't think they're going to hold Liege for very long. Um, yeah. And now France is at war with the Netherlands. France is actually pretty powerful um, for World War One, so let's we'll see how they do. Germany's also very, very powerful, of course, as, as well. Uh, they could actually rival... Um, Russian power. Like, the Russians are strong, don't get me wrong, but they, uh, this is definitely one of the mods that this, that Battle Royale works in, where Russia is weaker than it usually is. So, and I'm wondering if, what is it, 19, 1916, I think it is? 1917? That they, um, they, uh, have their civil war, with the Soviets. So we'll see what happens with that. I think a civil war tearing Russia apart would mean their defeat with whoever, if they're warring somebody strong at that point, which is in six to seven years. So there's a good chance they'll be at war with a nation that's quite competent by that point. I mean, they're at war with Norway right now, which is, you know, decent, but definitely not able to stand up against Russia, even in a civil war. Uh, we've got America here immediately declared war on Canada. Um... Yep. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The Canadians are most likely will fall, although there's a chance that they could do some encirclement stuff. Who knows? It's really hard to say. Uh, the United States is not very aggressive either. They're definitely not pushing that front. So they're definitely wary. But we'll see what happens um, in the future. But yeah. Spain and France are at war. Uh, Spain is also at war with Portugal. 
I'm not sure how that's going to help out Spain if they're at war with France. France is invading them heavily. They're about to take Barcelona, they just did. So the French immediately declaring war after the Netherlands falls on the Spanish. That is not good for Spain at all. I don't think Spain's going to be able to, to hold up. I think they're going to get beaten back. I think Portugal's going to take half of Spain, and then France is going to immediately declare war on Portugal. I think that's what's going to happen. I haven't played uh, this this mod, World War One mod, with uh, with this yet, so this is all new to me. <laughs> it's all speculation, but I'm pretty sure that Spain, yeah, will fall to France, and then um, France will declare war on Portugal and just take the entire Iberian Peninsula, except for Gibraltar, of course. Unless they go to war with the British next, but I can see them probably going to war with Italy, uh, maybe Austria-Hungary. It's hard to say. How that's going to go. Romania is getting eaten alive. Uh, wow. The Bulgarians are uh, are doing good at the pushing there. Who is Serbia at war with? Oh, they're at war with the Romanians as well. Okay. So once Romania falls, they'll probably go to war with, I would imagine, Bulgaria. If it's a neighbor state, they have to go to war with. Yeah, so it'll probably be Bulgaria. Or at least Bulgaria will declare war on the Serbs. Because they're not going to declare war on Austria. Austria-Hungary is... Um, Stronger, definitely. Definitely stronger. So we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, but I, I I, can't see Romania lasting very much longer. They're about to lose uh, Bucharest here uh, very shortly. They've got a lot of Bulgarian troops pressing. And, uh, yeah, it <laughs> doesn't look very good for them right now at all. It's pretty, pretty crappy for them. I almost feel bad. Almost. But not really. It's kind of crazy. Asia. Let's see. The Japanese have taken Korea. Um, they're not at war with the Chinese, though. The Chinese are at war with Bhutan at the moment. And the Japanese are at war with Siam. So that's interesting. So they've gone after... It looks like they're trying to navally invade Bangkok here. They might actually be able to pull it off. Um, I mean, they are winning. Oh, shit. The Germans declared war on the Austrians. That's unexpected. I figured they'd go uh, to war with the Swedes first. So it's Germany versus Austria. And there is Bulgaria and Serbia. Uh, oh, and Austria-Hungary also declared war on Bulgaria. So that's probably not good for the Austria-Hungarians. Great for the Bulgarians, though. If they can hold off Serbian attacks and hold off um, against the uh, Austrians and the Germans manage to get a win, which... By the looks, here is probable. Um, I mean, it's pretty much 50-50 on the front here for who's winning. Near Munich line, it's mostly Austrian victories, but farther north, it's uh, definitely, I think, uh, on the German side of, of things. Uh, I think if the Germans are able to actually like push down into Prague and then take, you know, get on a line here with Vienna, they probably win. But it's hard to say. That's it's flip-flopping quite quite a bit here. I don't know. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Bulgarians are actually, it looks like they're pushing out a little bit. Uh, they're at the very least holding their line. I don't think they're, are they trying to advance? No, that's the Austrians trying to advance. So the Bulgarians have kind of just tried to keep in their own little sphere by the looks of it. Oh, it Italy is now at war with Egypt. Uh, that's interesting. Is that all there? Yeah, that's it. Interesting. Good luck there, Italy. Italy is uh, is strong, but I don't think they're, like, ultra strong. Definitely stronger than Egypt, but not by that much. Uh, oh, yeah, the Italians have... They took over Ethiopia, so that would probably be why they went to war with the Egyptians, because they are technically neighbors. They do border Italian land. Spain? Poor Spain. Oh, my God. Poor, poor Spain. They're about to lose Madrid. They're close to losing Madrid there, and they'll probably retreat to Seville, or Civil, however you pronounce that, Seville, um, and possibly one more time after that, maybe up here to Karuna if they don't lose it, but hard to say. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Uh, they could treat to retreat to Malaga, maybe, maybe, but I mean, their main cities like Zaragoza and Barcelona are gone. They're about to lose Bobayo here. Like, they're... They're not doing great. They're not doing great. I, I feel... feel a little bad for them, but not really at the same time. But Portugal could fall before 
the Spanish do. They're not doing very hot against the Spanish, even though the Spanish are losing. Um, but yeah, because they're... They might hold. They might hold. Uh, we've got... Oh, shit! Mexico and the Mexican opposition here. So we've got a civil war in Mexico. Um, really don't know who's going to win that one. Probably the opposition. The opposition seem to be a little bit better and more organized, but we'll see. Because the opposition is also worth the United States, although the United States is losing all of those battles. And the United States hasn't moved on Canada yet. At all. Not at all. Even though Canadians have like five troops total, they could have easily capitulated Canada by now. It's a big mistake on the Americans' part to not do anything, because now the, uh, the Mexicans are going to invade. Oh my... Not a smart move. Uh, South America, eh, pretty much what you'd expect. Colombia is getting sandwiched between Venezuela and Ecuador at this point. Um, I'm not really sure who's really winning that. Uh, Colombia looks like they're getting squished pretty harshly at this point, but they are winning on a lot of their fronts, so it's hard to say how that's really going to turn out. Um, have Oh yeah, they're fighting. The Egyptians are actually winning against the uh, Italians, surprisingly enough. The Italians t did take a port here, but there looks like they're about to lose it. That, that guy's pretty screwed. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the, uh, the Egyptians can hang on for a little bit longer. We've got Austria-Hungary now is losing definitively to the Germans. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're getting pushed back. They're almost pushed back to Vienna at this point. I think the Bulgarians are on a push. Uh, a little bit of a push, I think. Not too sure. The Serbians, though, are... are I, I feel bad for them. They're defending their line, but they're not able to push at all. Um, you know, they're trying on some areas. Bulgarians are trying on others. It's just not working out for you, really either side. It's a pretty even fight right now, but... I think once Serbia is fully surrounded, uh, it won't be good. And if the Germans border them, then they're really screwed. Definitely, definitely screwed. I'm shocked Madrid has not fallen yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. The lag. The lag is real. Um, yeah, they, uh, they they still have it. It's barely... Bolivia just got annexed by Peru here. So they're at war with um, Colombia now, just like everybody else. I feel bad for Colombia in a way. <laughs> America is very... Uh, there's lots of wars going on, but it's very stalemated. Very stalemated, whereas the rest of the world is not so much... You've got the Austro-Hungarian line being pushed. You've got Bulgaria here and Serbia trying their best. And you've got Spain falling. Oh, Madrid did fall, and they did move their capital to Seville. Uh, which is kind of what I expected to happen. They still own Corona, so they might change it to there in Malaga. But I think if they lose Seville, they'll probably lose Malaga around the same time. So it's hard to say. Portugal, though, hanging on. They'll probably hang on now past the point of defeat at this, I, I figure. Um... But we'll see. We'll see what happens. To the Portuguese Republic now, and their flag is different on their troops than it is than it is here. So I'm not really not too sure what's going on there. Um, it's weird. It's very weird. It's strange things going on. Oh, Bulgaria actually pushed into ne into uh, Nis here, Nice, however you pronounce it. Um, that's pretty good for the Bulgarians, actually. Wow, good for them. They're still holding that line while the Germans push south. Uh, Vienna is within Germany's sights. Whether they'll take it right away or not, don't know. It's going to be pretty heavy defended. Definitely heavily defended. Who are the Russians currently going after? That's my question. Uh, oh, still Norway. They haven't beaten them yet? Wow. Norway's putting up a pretty good fight. And Sweden, I'm surprised, has not been eaten alive by the Germans yet. Although I imagine after Austria falls, that'll be who is next on the plate. Uh, that that I, I can see that a million miles away. The Ottomans uh, have taken Arabia, with the exception of some UK land there. Uh, so good for them. They're at war with Afghanistan now, who has eaten Persia alive and Iran. Uh, so we'll see how that fight goes for them, but... The Ottomans definitely have the more troops and stuff, but they really have to take Tehran to stop taking attrition, so hopefully they can manage to uh, pull that off, but we'll see. Afghanistan, I don't know. It's a strange one. Like, they, they exist, and that's good for them. And they are winning on all these fronts, which is very odd, 
considering they're up against armored cars and uh, cavalry divisions when they only have infantry, but they're better equipped, that's for sure. And they're not taking attrition, which is huge. I'm shocked Bhutan is still alive. I will give, I'll give them this. They are resilient as hell. They're very close to falling, as you can see here. Uh, but they are... They're hanging on, and I'm, I'm shocked. It's weird, because, like, that, it, it just makes it so that, um... The Chinese aren't really fighting anybody. Uh, Siam still has not been successfully navally invaded yet. So, Japan, you freaking failure. Goddamn losers. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Still losers, but whatever, you know. <laughs> you do you, you failures. Ooh, civils surrounded. Uh, that's going to be the end of them, I think. Oh, yeah, 96%. Yep, there they go. And they declared war on Portugal. I saw that coming, saw that coming. I don't know who France is going to declare war on after Portugal, though. They could go after the Italians. That's possible. Or they could go after the Austrians that are uh, quite weak now. We will have to see, I guess. I'm still very surprised Vienna's not fallen. They're putting up quite the uh, resistance, but they're losing a lot of land on the back end here. Um, you know, getting into, yeah, Budapest here. They're gonna probably going to take Budapest right away. Um, yeah, they're losing a lot of land on that back end. That's probably because they are trying to redirect troops for the defense of Vienna in that line. Because they're holding this line quite well. Um, the Austrian line like the actual homeland. They're holding that very, very well, but the rest of it, they're just oh, not doing too well. Uh, they're doing good against Bulgaria, though. All green on that front there. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're pushing. No, oh, no, they are pushing, but they're just not able to get past. So they're not able to push into the line very well, which is very unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. If they weren't at war with uh, the Germans, they would have destroyed Bulgaria by this point. They probably would have destroyed both Bulgaria and Serbia by this point. Um, they probably, I don't know, they wouldn't have gone to war with Greece. I don't think so. Maybe, but I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Oh, Budapest is now the capital of Austria-Hungary. They have taken Vienna. That was a hard-fought fight. How many men have they even lost? Let's see here. So Germany has lost 234,000 to Austria-Hungary's almost 400,000. So quite a few. Uh, what about Bulgaria? They've lost 53,000. So total in total, they've lost almost uh, 450,000 with both wars. Um, oh, actually, no, sorry, that's Bulgaria. Bulgaria's lost a lot more uh, troops. 11,000 for Austria-Hungary. So 400,000, pretty much on the dot. They've uh, they've been doing really well against the Bulgarians. The Bulgarians, I don't even know, the, do they have manpower at this point? Yes, but very, very little. So, I mean, if that, again... <laughs> The Germans, if they can hang on against the Germans, they might actually be able to take Bulgaria before Austria-Hungary falls. Um, though they are super close, so we'll see. Another capital take and they'll probably fall. So if Budapest goes, that'll probably be the end. I say probably. They could They could move. They own some... They are still own some larger cities in around here. They could move it to, you know, Bacheluca. They could come back. Uh, well... <sighs> to Luau here. Um, there's a few cities they could change it to that are worth it. Zagreb. Um, I was going to say Lebjolana, but that fell. Oh, no, it hasn't fallen. It's almost fallen. It's pretty It's pretty much fucked. <laughs> it's pretty much gone now. Uh, they've managed to surround them, these troops here, fighting in the Alps, so they're probably... They're dead. They're rest in peace. Oh, goodbye, Portugal. You're also dead. Uh, oh my goodness, what the hell? The Republic of China is at war with the King, uh, is that King or Queen? King Dynasty? That's interesting. I wonder if the Republic of China will be able to hold on and, you know, become the Republic of China. White peace with Bulgaria? What? No way. No way they're at peace. What the hell? That's weird. So the Bulgarians can now commit their entire army to fighting the Austrians. And you know, all the Serbians are here. So who are the Serbians at war with right now? Nobody. Okay. That's weird. That's very strange. They're going to have to go to war with Bulgaria. Like, they don't have a choice. Uh, okay. Kingdom of Italy. Oh, Italy declared war on the Ottomans. It said Kingdom of Italy, even though Italy is just labeled as Italy at the current time. 
They're not a kingdom at all. But hey, whatever. Um, <laughs> that's the white piece thing is strange. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. That's very strange. Oh, the Italians are invading Egypt pretty heavily now. Well, have they taken Cairo? No, they have not taken Cairo yet. They're working on it, though. They're going to get there, and then they've got a front line with the Ottomans here. Um, the Ottomans at war with Afghanistan, but that line hasn't fucking moved, and probably never will. So, I wonder who is going to come out on top there. So, Egypt is probably going to capitulate once um, Cairo falls. Probably will, yeah. Most likely. The Italians have wasted a lot of manpower, though, fighting this war. Uh, oh, so no more war with Bhutan. Oh, Republic of China just fucking... Wow, okay. And now they're at war with Bhutan again. Although, Bhutan and British Raj are now at war. Um, what would be funny is if Bhutan, like, pushed out and became a superpower. Wouldn't that be friggin' hilarious? Well, they just... They did! They pushed out! <laughs> They're going to become a, their own superpower, everybody. Bhutan is now the superpower, newest newest superpower of the world. The Chinese are not winning that fight. That was a foolish fight to pick. Wow. I can't believe I can't believe that. Bhutan has outlasted many European nations including Spain and Portugal. <laughs> Bhutan. And there we go, another white piece, which is just stupid and annoying. Uh, mod needs to uh, be able to eliminate white pieces here. I think that's not not okay. But at least now the Italians can have their full war effort on uh, taking Cairo at this point. So yeah, we'll see uh, how they do there and link up their land with their uh, Libyan force. Might help them out a little bit. Ooh, Budapest is about to fall. We could see the end of the Austro-Hungarian Empire here. Because once that uh, troop falls in Budapest, they're not probably going to get reinforced. Especially with the Germans pushing south. It's going to be more and more difficult for them. This is pretty hardcore. Come on, Budapest, fall. If you're going to fall, fall. Just let them die. Let Bulgaria be huge and attack Serbia again. Because they won't attack anybody. Cause they're war and there goes Budapest. And Sweden is who their war goal is. What about Sofia? Are they not at war with anybody right now? Oh, Tunisia. Really? Okay, that's a strange one. Uh, Serbia's still not at war with anybody. Which is... kind of dumb. So the mod's basically broken. Because <laughs> the Serbians are still alive. Um, and, and doing fine. Well, that's annoying. Hopefully Tunisia falls to somebody stupid. Hopefully the, uh... Once the Egyptians die, that's who the Italians go after next. Like, I don't know. What the hell's that alarm going off in my friggin' house? Please stop fucking burning toast. Eh, okay. So, who are the Germans at war with there? Sweden? Yeah, that's what I kind of expected. Uh, and hopefully they push... They should push into Sweden pretty pretty quickly. Um, I am... Oh my god. Really, Russia? Really? How incompetent are you, Russia? You can't even successfully fully invade the Norwegians. Like, hurry up, Germany. Finish off the Swedes so you can invade Norway for Christ's sakes. And they can go to war with somebody else. Man, oh man. Also, the fact that Bhutan is still exists is marginally really funny. Also, Nepal is not at war with anybody because they have no nations around them that are weaker than them. Which is also probably the reason that Serbia actually isn't at war with anybody. They have to be declared war on. Which, I would imagine after Sweden and Norway fall, probably going to be the prospects of the German Empire. Which will be bad for them. They'd be better off fighting the Bulgarians. They'd probably at least last longer. Um, and at least Belgrade's on the other side of the country from them. Yeah, it's not that's not going to be a fun one. Greece is also kind of tucked away, but they have a good, uh, a fairly large military, actually. Um, but they're probably going to be declared war on by, I'm going to say the Ottomans at some point. Possibly after Afghanistan falls, if they can ever manage to actually take that. Look at how many divisions they have here, and they can't take Tehran. That's embarrassing. 
absolutely embarrassing. Wow. Also, the Italians are really, really bad at taking Cairo. Like, super bad at it. They've managed to at least link up their uh, Libyan core. If they're smart, they'll wipe out these troops here. They don't have a port, I don't think, no. So they could easily wipe them out. If they were smart, that's what they'd be doing. But, you know, it's the AI, right? So who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? And as I predicted, the French are going after the Italians. Goodbye, Italy. You definitely cannot handle the French war machine. Uh, which means that Egypt might actually survive. Um, if they can't take Cairo, like, quickly, then the Egyptians will probably live. Uh, which, which is, I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, it might be. Uh, how many troops does Tunisia have? Oh, they don't have any. So if the Egyptians win and they take the land next to Tunisia, go to war with them and wipe them out. That's who Greece is at war with as well. Why are none of these, why are none of you trying to navally invade Tunisia? There's nothing there stopping you. Absolutely nothing. And Greece has, you have a navy. Like, you have a navy. You could easily, f oh, for God's sakes, pretty sure even uh, these freaking idiots have a navy, if if not small. Like, come on, guys. So are they six and, oh, okay, I guess convoy-wise they can't. They don't have enough. That's sad. Just build convoys, guys. Come on. Jesus. It's just sad. Just sad. But yes, Egypt might actually get a free pass here. They're losing, but France is winning. So we'll see where they retreat to after Rome. Uh, how close are they even, like, to capitulating here? Oh, I don't care about Greece and them. Show me Italy. There we go. Uh, not overly far, but a loss of Rome would definitely push them close to the edge. I wonder if they'll switch from Rome to Naples or if they'll go t straight to um, Palermo here. I'm not really sure. Or will they, would they put a capital in Africa? That's what I want to know. If they do, they would. They could hang on, although the French can easily get into Africa, I suppose. But, again, we'll see what happens. Uh, Rome just fell. Yep, they went to Palermo, and their capitulation went up a lot. Wow, they've lost almost double the troops that they have. That's pretty impressive. Norway looks like it's actually finally closer to dying. Uh, Sweden doesn't look too strong right now. Um, Bhutan, they've lost a province. They're about to lose another one by the looks of it. Hopefully they do so that these troops can concentrate here instead and just finally take Bhutan. Because honestly, it's kind of embarrassing that they've managed to live this long. Oh, yeah, the Ottomans actually pushed. Oh, my God, they have Tehran. They're still taking attrition like crazy, though. Oh, Egypt was actually annexed before the Italians fell. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that one. And the Italians are at war with Tunisia. Please, for the love of God, before you die, take Tunisia over. For the love of God. Send one fucking troop there. That's all you need to do. This one guy, this guy here, just invade their capital and take them over. Please. <laughs> before you fall. Before Rome dies, take out the useless one. It looks like the French are preparing to invade. So, they're probably going to go to war with them next anyway. Which would be good. At least then somebody will fucking kill them. Like, like just, oh my god. It's getting ridiculous. Who are the British Raj at war with? Oh yeah, that's right. They're failing miserably to attack Bhutan. And that's it. That's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, British Raj. Not as sad as the Russians, but still pretty sad. I mean, the Russians are doing just horribly. They have these troops here surrounded. They can't seem to kill them. Uh, they could walk into Oslo, though. I wonder if they will. Or if they're not going to bother. They're just going to stand there. That's so dumb. The Germans are uh, sweeping north pretty quickly. The uh, Swedes don't have very much in the way of troops left. And their Germans are closing in on their capital. So very, very soon we could see Sweden fall. Thank freaking goodness. Um, this has been a more slower grind. I know it's World War One and stuff, but my god, the powerful nations are not as powerful as you'd think. Like, they can't even take out Bhutan. <laughs> You've got British Raj and China, and they can't take out the small country of Bhutan. 
It's kind of sad. I almost want to see Bhutan win. Wouldn't that be hilarious, that seeing Bhutan having British Raj in all of China? You know, that'd be pretty funny. I think, that, I think that'd be a good laugh. I'd have a giggle. How's America doing? Oh my goodness. Um, the Mexican opposition has kind of pushed in. Regular straight-up Mexico has pushed north, so they're on the border with America now here. I don't really know who's winning this war, because every time I look, it looks like Mexico's the same size. It's just moved somewhere. Uh, oh, hey, finally. Friggin' Christ. Um, <laughs> so the states is being invaded a little bit uh, here. The Canadian line, however, nobody's fucking moved. There's some fighting in Alaska, where the Canadians have attacked, you know, Alaska. Why aren't they taking attrition? There's no, well, there's no port here. Oh, they are taking attrition, so they're eventually going to die. Um, Alaska's fucked. <laughs> Good job, Canada. If you're going to take anything, I guess, take Alaska. Good job. Good job. Sweden's going to hear going to fall here, like, in two seconds. Um, I'm not at war with Canada. I'm not at war with Canada. Nobody's... I'm in Germany, for Christ's sakes. Thank you. Yeah, the Swedens are dead. Wow, 3,000 German, 62,000 Swedes. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Good resistance there, Sweden. Good good job. You you tried. Oh my. Now all the Germans have to do is just walk in there. Oh hey, Bhutan finally decided to fall. Look at that. Boat damn time. I assume they're at yeah, Nepal now. Let's see how this war goes. <laughs> is this another one that's gonna take about twenty years? So they at war with them too? No, they're at war with who? Oh, Siam. Okay. Um, Siam could actually win that one. They have some troops. I don't know whether they can or not, but they'll probably try. Uh, Serbia and the Germans are now at war, which is very, very bad for Serbia. Also, it'll probably be Bulgaria after Serbia, I imagine. I, I would, I would think, I would think Bulgaria would be after Serbia for the Germans. I can't say for certain. They could go after Greece, but I don't know, I just can't see it. Uh, the Italians are pretty much on their last legs here. Um, getting pushed down into the boot here. Um, yeah, they're not doing very hot. 244,000 lost. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of troops. However, they're still too stupid to send a troop up into Tunis, uh, Tunisia here and, uh, you know, take them out. So, who knows, really? Who really knows? Develop civil industry in Asia. Okay. So Indochina and Indonesia, since you control that, you took it from the Dutch. Ooh, Serbia. Ooh. How's that? Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Rest in peace. You poor sons of bitches. Uh, Afghanistan now has to deal with the Russians, so that's not going to be good. Yeah, they're losing on all fronts now. The Ottomans have finally set up a competent front. For, took them long enough, but they finally did it. So good for them. So Afghanistan looks like it's not going to last too long. How is the fight here? Uh, Nepal's actually winning. Not, not that surprised at that one. Wouldn't that be funny again? Nepal, you know, brush, branches out, takes over all of China. That'd be pretty hilarious. I think that'd be pretty damn funny. I, I won't happen, but it'd be pretty damn funny. Belgrade has fallen. They've pushed back to, uh, to Nice here, or Nice, however you want to pronounce that. That's unfortunate for the Serbians. I'd love to see the Bulgarians and the Germans. Um, I think that would be quite the spicy conflict. Because the uh, the Bulgarians have some decent units, I think that would be a longer conflict, for sure. Uh, France and Germany would be an interesting one too. Who is the UK at war with? Now that I ask, Liberia. Okay, and they just can't successfully invade Liberia for what reason exactly? I'm not really sure what they're. Oh, this one there's one guy guarding with like half equipment, so the British are incompetent, with six divisions. Wait, really? They can't do it with six? Well, here they come. Let's see. Can they do it with six divisions? Against... I mean, he is entrenched, to be fair. But, he has half the equipment. 
You have six pretty close to fully equipped ones. So they're winning all they're losing. <laughs> oh my. Britain, you are a sad, sad country. Just fucking sad. My goodness. So then you lock France will go to war with them at some point soon and just take them out by land. Oh my god. Now speaking of France, how are we doing here? So invading Sicily is obviously going to be more difficult for the French. Because crossing water is just going to be more difficult. It's not their homeland. Yeah. So they're actually losing that conflict there. Although the Italians are... Oh yeah, that could turn on the Italians here. As soon as as soon as France take France takes Messina here, it's over. It's all over. As soon as they take that over, it's done. There's nothing you could think anybody can do anymore. It's just taking that. That's the problem. It could take a little bit for them to actually be able to do it. And meanwhile, the Italians stay pretty strong. I mean, they only have ten factories now, but they have a lot of land and manpower to pull from. But the French have way, way more. Yeah, there we go. There's the Bulgarian conflict. There you go. Let's see how this goes. I'm waiting for it to break out here. <laughs> Come on. Fight them. Let's go. Push forward. Oh, that doesn't look good for Bulgaria here. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, the Germans are just absolutely destroying them. Oh, no. They might take Sofia really quick. Uh-oh. Where are they going to retreat to? Well, they have Bucharest, I guess. They could easily retreat there. Oh, yep, they lost Sofia. Yep, Bucharest, that's what I thought. That's, that's, oh. That's gross. That's so bad. I feel so bad for them. Um, well, Afghanistan's been swallowed by Russia and the Ottoman Empire. Looks like the Russians are soon to push into Kabul. I don't know how long it's going to take them, though. They have very low equipment. Both sides have, like, next to no frigging equipment. And this guy's got, like, one gun up here in Kundun. Here, or Kunduz. He has, like, one gun for the entire division. <laughs> the hell are they going to do? Just pass it off? Be like, all right, here you go. <laughs> you shoot it now. It's your turn. <laughs> okay, all right. You fired your shot. Now give it to me. <laughs> like, I don't understand. That troop's... Yeah, he's screwed. No equipment, no man. Yep, Kabul, and there we go. Oh, they declared war on Bulgaria as well. Ooh, that's bad. So now Bulgaria's fighting a massive two-front war with two superpowers. Oh, damn. They're already losing. They're already done and dusted by the Germans. And so they're definitely not going to do well against um, the might of the Russians. Who are the Russians going to go against next is my question. British Raj, maybe? Possibly the Ottomans? Uh, maybe China, but... I think China's got a bigger military, even though they're struggling to take Nepal. They have a bigger military. Um, so there's a good chance. Oh, British Raj are also they're at war with not only Siam, but also the Ottomans now. So the Ottomans are setting up to attack. Oh, that'll be interesting. That always ends up being a stalemate war. They seem to everybody always seems to get it around this line here, like just outside of Delhi, and then stops moving their front line, and I'm like, why? Follow up on your attack and take Delhi, for Christ's sakes. That's just ridiculous. Also, the Italians now have their capital in Tripoli. So, the French are going to have to invade through their African colonies. Also, Tunisia finally has a unit. Good job. Good job, Tunisia. Wow. <laughs> this is just insane. Just insane. But we are getting down to some of the last uh, unit or last countries and stuff... I mean, it looks gross, but we have the UK, we have France, we have the German Empire, Russia, China, British Raj, Japan. So you're getting down to some of the last nations here. North America, nothing's fucking happened, so I don't think anything really is going to happen. Um, I think we can just count them out of the war. I mean, for God's sakes, Colombia still is alive. There's no pushing going on here, so it's pretty boring in America. The states isn't strong enough to make any kind of pushes. The Mexicans are fighting a civil war that will never fucking end. And the Canadians are just never going to push, and neither are the Americans. So, I think we our, our attention is, once again, on the Eurasian-Africa continent. And um, we're going to see who the hell is going to pull a, pull a win here. It doesn't look good for the Ottomans. <laughs> but I'm going to pause it again, and we're going to see... I'll, I will come back to you when there is the two powerhouses left, 
Uh, so I'll see you in just a minute here. All right, I think we can pretty much call it here. The German Empire is definitely reigning supreme. Uh, they have a crap ton of factories. Um, they're currently at war with uh, China, who they are winning against, although it's a bit of a slow, groggy war. The Chinese do have a fair amount of units to defend, but they are fighting now on two fronts with Japan. So it's a war they're definitely going to lose. They've lost quite a bit of land they had up to the bottom of this lake here. Uh, which I think is like Bacal, but I might be wrong. I think it's Bacal. Um, but yeah, so they had up to there, and they they are steadily losing land. Uh, you can see here, I'm currently in Germany, and they're winning most of their fights on this uh, northern uh, flank here. Oh, they just got pushed back a little bit, though. Um, but eventually, the Chinese will fall. So I'm just going to call it here. The Mexican opposition did take Canada over. They did, uh, or almost did, I should say. Uh, but they pretty much got them here now, so... That's good. So they own North America pretty much, but they uh, pale in comparison to the German Reich, which is or the German Empire, I should say. The German Empire did not capitulate France, however. They simply cannot get over to this uh, island. The French have it very, very well defended, um, and the, the, the Germans just cannot seem to get over to it. So, um, yeah. But we have uh, our first European win. Uh, I might look at... Kaiserreich with this mod as well, maybe, if you guys want, just let me know in the comments if you want to see me do Kaiserreich with Battle Royale, and then we'll be done after Kaiserreich, probably. Maybe we'll come back to it at some point, um, and see if it comes any different, but at the very least, uh, this one could be the last one, but Kaiserreich will definitely be the last one, so thank you much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.